hope to get Mr. SEC to do for me on his community mission. Ladies and gentlemen, at this time, we ask that you please rise for the playing of our national anthem. They stopped and turned around to the flag. Everybody going to rock and roll here for Marty that time. Now let's meet tonight's starting lines. First for the Bethany Bruins, number four, Shamaya Magadi, number six, Jaden Schleyball, number eight, Jordan Ross Ricker, number 10, Colin Ward, number 12, Asher Bontrager, number 13, Dylan Horning, number 18, Tyson Chupp, number 19, Beck Willems, number 21, Anthony Moser, number 23, Joseph Gonzalez, and in the goal for the Bruins, number one, Evan Brown. Bruins are coached by Tony Jansen. Now let's meet the starting line for your Argus Dragons. Number one, Tilly Himmelbrandt. Number two, Thomas Gutierrez. Number three, Devin Allen. Number six, Cameron Markley. Number seven, Gabe Stone. Number eight, Carson McCramer. Number 10, Mike Richard. Number 13, Caden Brady. Number 15, Caden Nifong. Number 16, AJ, Mill. AJ Mills. And in the goal for the Dragons, number four, Colton Markley. Dragons are coached by Todd Vanderweel. Thanks, Brandon. You want me to stay on here now, or? I don't know. Joe left me. All right, if you well, can double duty, if he comes right, back, we'll we'll, we'll see if he comes back. I missed it, but it looks like we had a kind of shot there. Tomas, on, yeah, Tomas had one. It it went just over. I can read, but I can't read and watch. Okay. I'm just trying to find. While you were reading, I was trying to find some stats here. It looks like Bethany Christian is four nine and two, and the Dragons are eleven three and one starting out tonight. Uh, Dragons clinch the NISC on, I got to think about that when I say it, on Thursday with a uh, late game victory there over at the Academy. Can't tell you anything about that game because we couldn't go. So <laughs> I know it was back and forth and back and forth, and we put the more goals in than they did. Yes, I believe uh, the update we got was we were down 1-0 uh, with maybe four minutes left in the first half or 14 minutes left in the first half. Yeah, it was 1-0 for a long time. We were getting updates. I was over here at the junior high um, tourney, um, and they, we were getting some updates from some parents who may have been parked along the road there <laughs> watching from their cars. It was pouring down rain, so I'd, it wasn't a good – Time to sit out and watch the game anyway. No, and I believe that's why they also did not have their, their live feed that night. Yeah, they had a live feed. Um, I was taking tickets here. They had a live feed for over half of the JV game. Um, it was still 0-0, but the, the rain was coming down so hard, I actually thought it was hailing. So I don't know if that's true. It just, it was, and they said they, had, you know, for their equipment's sake, they had to end transmission, so. And it, it was raining off and on here as well that day. Um, Until the, the game teams, yeah. started. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Until that poor boys game started, and then it was pouring. I felt so bad for them. I was in my little room. I, yeah. Yeah, it's usually much nicer up here in the booth. 
<laughs> and that little ticket booth. You know what? They got a little heater out there. I had a little heater. I couldn't complain. Yeah. Argus, of course, is starting tonight. Uh, does have all their seniors in the lineup. Um, which, except uh, John. Uh, <laughs> except he's the manager. John, yeah. yeah. Uh, which, you know, leaves uh, normal starter uh, Ted Redinger on the bench right now. Um, he actually others. came in um, while you were reading. Oh, Ted and Ben already. Rangel okay. came in for um, Tomas and Tilly. Okay. So they did get the start for in honor yeah. of senior night. I, then, I do uh, know that Todd one year started all the seniors and the, something happened. They came out and they scored. Right. Bethany did. And that – he kind of has always been a little wary. So uh, you start him for the honor, and then you just say, "All right, now we got to get down to business yeah. here." And the kids understand that too. And a conference game, we know if it depends. Oh, almost at just the foot the, there. Uh, great cross by Nifong. Just missed the foot of Ted Redinger. Hey, if you're handing out money, we'll take some. Yes, that's why if you're I'm out an there. ATM machine here. Yeah, if you're out there listening and you need something to do tonight, looks like over at the park they are having an Oktoberfest. They're having a movie starting at 7:30, which is Hocus Pocus, um, and they're having a soda garden and uh, other things over there, food, and I can't really tell from here. But if you want something to do after you get done watching the game, hey. We also will be back um, in action here at 6 o'clock on Monday night, bringing you boys' sectional action. Um, the Dragons, let's see, let me get this right. North Miami. North Miami. Boys yes. drew North Miami. And then we will be at Newton Park Tuesday night to bring you the girls, the Lady Dragons, and the Culver Cavaliers. Um, I'm not sure Rochester does play after that with against North Miami. I don't know if we're covering that. I don't. I haven't heard yet, but... Definitely will be carrying you dragon action next week for sectionals. Definitely like both the boys and girls' both chances of, yeah. of winning their sectionals. Um, yeah, so we'll uh, be here, there, here, there, and then Saturday. We're everywhere, we're everywhere. Here, there, yeah. here, there, and everywhere. And by that time, I'll be, yeah. The boys are not getting any favors. They ended up drawing the first game, so they actually play three if to, to win As the championship. do the girls. Yes. Yeah, they've, so yeah. They both drew the, the short in there, but uh, – one more game of experience for the underclassmen. Hopefully. Yes, yes. A little slide there by Devin Allen. Carson McCramer gets a foot on it. Oh, and Devin Allen sneaks around. A little chillier than some of our games, and we don't have to deal with the sun today. Being a conference game, we've got Colton Markley in the goal. Uh, Coach Vanderbilt has been starting him in the goal during. Into the game for Bethany, number 22, Ben Keys. And thank you to Brandon. He's doing double duty tonight. He's also announcing the subs that are coming into the game for us. Have a dragon goal kick. Big kick out by Caden Brady. Bethany really uh, possessing the ball here in this first uh, seven minutes. Mm -hmm. I do like the tenacity tonight of the Dragons. They seem to be not asleep at the wheel. They're they're definitely, you know. Yeah, they're definitely flying all over the field. Yeah. Just got to get a little uh, little ball possession and yeah. settle in a little. Obviously, Bethany, the last time that uh, Argus and Bethany played was in the uh, regionals. <laughs> you're okay. <laughs> no, you're okay. You're okay. It went it went straight out that way, and it was good. Yeah. I need, you know what? We need yellow ones, Phil. Someone wanted my mic off, so. <laughs> Poor Luke. All right, Beth Bethany still possessing the ball. I wanted to talk with Coach Joe. Maybe we can get him to pop up here later. Um, he was at Bethany last night, and their game went to double overtime 
And Dragons ended up scoring in that double overtime, also a conference game. Uh, they were, I, it was 1-1, I think, before that. And uh, Ariana Allen, Devin Allen's sister. Ooh, shot there by high by Cameron Markley. Ariana Allen was able to put that in. I've also been informed that at the park, if you're bored after this, they've got a bonfire and hay rides going on. So the cars are uh, definitely piling in over there. Yeah, I can see smoke. I don't think it's a fire department demonstration. <laughs> oh, be a dragon throwing. Phil, I think I need like a red ribbon to tie on it. <laughs> yeah. All right, get a big kick out here by the keeper. Caden Brady gets ahead on it. And it takes a big bounce. Caden Brady gets another foot on it. And we've got a Free kick for the Dragons. We're the Bruins, right? Bethany Bruins, is that right? Yes. Okay. I looked at that one. Phil, you got another B. Did you kill that one? You're the man with the swatter. You're the man with the swatter. We didn't have any of those the other day. I don't know. Okay, Ben Rangel with the ball just inside the 18, and we're going to have a Dragon throw in. Oh, big long ball there. Uh, and Caden Braden g Brady gets a foot on it. And it's going to give up for a corner. Corner. Okay. To be a Bethany corner. That's in my blind spot over here. I can't quite see that far. <laughs> I got some walls up in the press box that. Yeah. Whoa, just, just over. If the goal was to get the ball as close to the net. <laughs> yes, that was. That would, you'd get points for that one. That was. Perfect place corner and, and a good and header. A great too. head ball. I've got to guess it was uh, 22 Ben Keys, but. Uh, it's hard to tell. It was a scrum. <laughs> Another big kick out there by Caden Brady. Ben Rangel gives chase. I can't believe we're almost in tourney time again. It seems like we were just there. Yes. It's been a strange. Just, we keep saying it, but we can't believe we've, I think it's we've the great, made it this far. The Grateful Dead <laughs> said a long, strange trip it's been. <laughs> it has, but uh, so far we've made it. So Yeah. Let's hope that, uh, hope that continues. Mike Richard with the ball. I'll call on the Dragons. I'm going to get a bow and tie it on there, Luke. Oh, there's Joe. Brandon, if you want to relinquish your headset, I'll I'm going to steal Joe here. I'll let him have this seat. We'll get some conversation on... So we got with us tonight Joe Stone, head coach of the Lady Dragon soccer team. Uh, <laughs> Joe's evening. going into sectionals 10 and, ten and four. 4. Okay, that's what I thought I saw. Ooh. Ooh, nice shot by Mikey Richard there with the right foot. And he is left-footed. So. Yeah, I know. That's impressive. Uh, 10 and 4. Yeah. Is that your I, – I was trying to think back. Is that your best record going into sectionals? Mm, no. No, okay. I, I didn't – I could not remember what, like, no. Samantha's record was or – Yeah, I think I had 11 wins uh, – Okay. 
I had 11 wins, which have been a year. I've, I've been a lawyer senior year. Okay. Okay. So going into going into sectional. Well, great. You're. I mean, you're sitting in a good position. Um, every team in your sectional save Culver. Have you seen every team save Culver? Yeah. Every, every, oh, another shot just on the outside of the right post. And that one was also Mikey Richard. That yeah, was his left like, foot, though. Uh, for Connor, we've got Connor Tracy coming in for the Dragons. And we'll let Brandon tell us who's coming in. For Number 13 and number 23 coming in for the Bruins. It's Dylan and I might have heard that. Joseph. Joseph. I said. Yeah. I remember numbers. Names are like, woo. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Mama's back. Oh, she's got some. Thanks for asking. She got my coffee. <laughs> I, I don't need more coffee today. No, I had three cups. If I have any more today, I'll be woo. Oh. Got a foul called on the Dragons. Uh, it looks like um, if he's calling that right there, it looks like he was Teddy Redding was set to pick. So Mark could get up oh, around okay. him. I'm thinking that's when. Uh, like, is that an obstruction call? It would be an okay. obstruction call. See? Yep, hands up. So, yep. I'm not totally done. No, you're not. <laughs> I've spent a lot of time watching soccer. So you've, you've been around it for a long time. A couple days. I don't know. Part of me missed coaching, but the other part. Gabe Stone taking it up the left side there. So fast. He's so excited. <laughs> he was fun. His to mother. <laughs> he was fun to talk to this week. <laughs> Another little chip in there by I think Ben Rangel. That's my son Gabe out there, and Brandon's harassing me. Where do you get that speed from? I said his mother. You might have had that. I did. Thirty. How long have you been out? Uh, I graduated in '89, so yeah. twenty-one years or thirty-one years. You wish twenty-one. Years. Yeah. Did you turn the big 5-0 last year? I did. I'll be 51 oh, okay. in December. I'm going backwards this year. Yeah. I got to move well, these congratulations. Sides. That's better. Only way to go is up. So you get to travel to Newton Park on Tuesday at 5 o'clock to face Culver. Correct. And, I mean, that's. Culver is nine and five, I think, if I remember, unless um, they've played another game since the last time I looked. I don't know. Well, let's take a look. They're not a bad team. Um, It'll be an interesting game. I know your girls are excited to play Culver as they didn't get to play him this year. Right. Um, nice ball, Gabe. Why oh, another. Oh, let your keeper pick that up. Well, I don't understand why Teddy didn't try to hit. Tap it back. Know, tip, uh, little, slip it in or anything. Yeah. Get it oh. back outside. Get it back outside. Yeah, no doubt. You got Gabe on the side. You got. Oh. oh. Unlucky. And a little tip off that foot. That was that's kind of scary. Yep. A little deflection. That could have gone either. Um, either way, there, girls. Let's see some girls. Good ball. Teddy Redding and racing for it. Oh, there's a push. Looks like we've got some vocalizations going on out there. Have a little, little talk with Andrew Mishler. Yes. And he can't keep his uh, mouth shut, uh, so he's going to get a card, is what I'm thinking. That's simple. Yep. Well, because he didn't look like he – I mean, he would have issued the card if he was going to issue it. Some things you can do with Mr. Mishler and um, Talking you're not going to do that. Too. Yeah, so sometimes you <laughs> – so we got number nine, Jake Stoltz, coming into the game for the Dragons. Well. Yeah, at this point in this game, I would have given him the what for, too. <laughs> what for are you doing that? Yeah. Culver is 10-6-1. and one. Good. So it should be a really good game. Yeah. 
boys will be in action here, we already said, on Monday night. We're hopefully covering all those for you. Good. It'll be a long week. Um, but we'll we'll hopefully get that figured out. <laughs> this is true. We didn't do any girls' games last year. It was all, all boys. Shoot, I didn't mean to drop my phone. Who's this? Oh, he's okay. I thought maybe you were drinking two different kinds of mixing your sodas. No, that's uh, I brought that up here earlier. The code red. Oh, that's your code red. Oh, the hay rides are going on. Maybe at halftime we can get a hay ride. <laughs> no. We've got. Uh, hey, if you're out there and you want to shout out, send me or Joe a text or Phil. We'll say your name on the air. That's right. Because we're just that cool. <laughs> I love giving shout outs to people. Maybe I don't know. I don't know who would be watching tonight. Sometimes in basketball, I know who's out there, but years ago, we kind of used to know who was watching, or well, we used to know how many people were watching, but, and, oh, we're on channel four tonight? Nice. Okay. So we will look, if we're live on channel four, I'm not sure about bringing girls action on Tuesday night. We'll see what, what the, after the Argus game, what's going on. Uh, the Zebras, I think, play North Miami after Correct. you guys play Culver. So, good game there. Zebras actually just clinched their TRC. T for the first time, I think. Was it for first the or second? I thought I saw. Well, for yeah, one of those. Yeah. So, great job to them. Yes. They had a good season. Great season. Coach Chantel Rensberger, a uh, dragon. <laughs> <laughs> we love our dragons. <laughs> Yeah, three out of four of the schools that are playing um, in that sectional is our RTC schools. So, wow. I don't know about the boys. I'll have to look at the boys. But we've got some exciting uh, action here. We've got a big long ball coming up. Colt Markley again in the goal on this conference game. Coach Todd's really been playing him during conference games. Um, Cameron's a three-time all-conference goalie yep. for the NISC. So to not let him have that shot again this year would have been kind of sad. I it would have been. Yeah. But, yeah. Oh. Oh, a little, yeah, a little swing slow. and a miss there. Yep. So we'll have Gabe Stone taking the free kick. And we've got quite a few Bruins um, waiting to come into the game. Looks like we're going to have one right now for a sub for By an injury. injury. Yep. Injury sub. Anthony Moser, number 21, coming in. And awesome. Steve says he has us up for all the games. So. Well, you tell Steve he's wonderful. <laughs> I. I don't care what Andy says about him. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure he doesn't say anything. <laughs> No, but Steve's answer I'm was, thinking I don't some care pizza, what Andy though. says anyway. <laughs> well, yeah, no doubt. We don't care oh, what Andy good says. Ball. Oh, and Jake Stoltz with the left foot oh. just over. Nice ball by Stone into Jake Stoltz. Great play right there. That was a good move. Oh, funny. Good job, Devin. Goal kick for the Bruins. Pace. Now we're going to have a oh. corner kick for the Dragons. There's a goal kick. Kid saved it, and, and when he kicked it back, Ben Rangel kicked it right out of bounds. Is that Ben? Yeah. Oh, no. There, I was going to say, the, the AR on this side was calling it a corner, but then the center... Joe, you ought to be out there refereeing. No. <laughs> I give that up. I have fun doing it, but I give it up. Oh, <laughs> oh Mike Richard coming up that left side there. 
It'll be a dragon throw-in. Big throw-in over to Ben Rangel. Oh. I've seen a lot of growth out of Ben this year. Yes, he he's, he's, he's come along very yeah. nicely. Played pretty well. I actually, in our classes the other day, I complimented him. I said, hey, you're doing a great job. And he, looked, <laughs> he thought he was in trouble. <laughs> <laughs> Keeper better be careful. Looks like he just uh, stepped out of the box Ooh. to kick that ball. Connor Tracy. You know, if, no matter what happens, boys or girls, when you play Bethany, you're in for a fight of your life. That's just the you way know, it is. And I always feel like last year, um, it was Thursday night, our junior high team went up there and played, and then Friday night, our girls were here and played, and then Saturday night, <laughs> so it was like three nights in a row of... You know, everybody says Bethany's down a little bit this year. Down, the, They said the same thing about the girls' game yesterday, that they're down, and, you know, we won yesterday in the second overtime. Yeah, right that before was two minutes before PKs. So you know, I should have come to that game. That would yeah, have been a you cannot great ever. game to see. I was dozing at eight o'clock though, so <laughs> although it was over by then, I yeah, guess. But now, yeah. did you have JV last night? No, they do not have a JV. Did not have a JV. Okay. No, but yeah, you just can't uh, ever count them out. They they play hard. They they're coached well. You know what? And tourney time's coming up next week too. You can't look at records. You can't look at anything. Nope. I always say tourney time is a start over time. Our our girls last year, our junior high girls, they they were undefeated the whole season, and they went into the tourney, and just it just wasn't our night. Lost the first game. And we lost. Mm -hmm. I mean, we, we had won the tourney the year before. You would have thought we had pretty much the same team. Um, yeah, you would have thought we would have. But looks like freshman Sean Richard coming into the game, giving Gabe Stone a break. Caden Brady really... You, you know, know he come back from a knee injury. He he's, has. He's, he's progressed faster. Yeah, and then and then thought. being gone a couple of weeks, and then he was mm -hmm. on vacation a week, and yeah, he's it's been an interesting season for him. Easy grab there for Markley. Yeah, he was waiting on it. Markley's so smart back there in the box. He it's was, the mullet. Okay, I, I believe that because we had we had him back when we were in school. <laughs> <laughs> no, I did not have a mullet. No, you did. Joe had a mullet. I had a mullet and an earring. <laughs> I had an earring when I went to college. I didn't have one during it high school. It was the 80s. It was the 90s, I guess. 90. It yeah. was 1990. Yeah, until my father decided to rip it out. I don't <laughs> blame him. Thank you, Bob. <laughs> and then uh, no more earring. Yeah. Didn't need it anyway. Nope. It's like Coach Todd's got a couple subs lining up here to come back into the game. He's talking to him a little bit. And the Bruins have a few subs waiting to waiting on the line. Jake Stoltz is bringing the ball over. And does not quite connect with that one. Good step by Caden Brady there. I always called him down when I coached him in travel. Caden McBrady. Caden McBrady. Yeah. He I call him neighbor boy because he, he always laughed. He yeah. always laughed when I called Good him fight there. there by Sean Richard. Ooh. I would think. Th well, they're going to give us a quarter. Okay. It could have it been. It could have been because it was from behind. I would. Yeah. It was kind of. <laughs> You gotta be careful with that behind call because you can come from behind as long as you get all ball and no man. I mean that's yeah. illegal, but if you get man, then you know that's where the whistle starts blowing. All right, we've got a plethora of subs for the dragon that looks like 15, Caden Ifong, and 11. And Aunt Amy bust out the SAT word. Plethora. 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 It's my library skills coming it's into action. Plethora of knowledge. Hey, we do have Jacob Stone on the camera. We've got our young yes. kids that are um, kind of starting, you know, this year with the media club. And we've got a oh, great, great punch out yes. there by the goalie. We had a couple kids in there that are quite capable of getting a head ball on that. And But we've got our students. We've got a couple new students. Um, actually, Brandon's son, oh. Luke, has joined us. And Peyton Heckerman, who helped last year. And few junior high kids. There's a couple more we, we're recruiting. We've got one that would like to try commentating for basketball. Dylan Kindig. So oh, very nice. Dylan? For girls, he'll have to do girls because oh, I told nice. his dad it would be hard for him to so do the say boys. I'm like, Wait he's a six yeah. foot five and he plays basketball. So he could, we could put a headset on him, his dad said. And he could, you know, hey, hold on a second. I got to shoot. <laughs> we also have Gabe Stone waiting to come back into the game for the Dragons. Got a quick... Uh, who do, they, who do they need, Brandon? Oh. oh. Do we want me? Where do they need him? Is it your? I can text him. There you go. We all wear so many hats here. Mm -hmm. 
the convention stand. No, the oh, concession okay. stand. Okay. You got it? Yeah. Oh, okay. We used to have radios. A little over 12 and a half minutes left here in this first half. Kid's just dribbling right through us right now. Yeah, he is. Great foot skills. A big yeah. cross shot? It's a cross. Cross yeah. shot? I don't know. Gabe Stone coming back in. Looks like he's coming in for Cameron Markley. All right. Sorry for that little cleanup yeah, little bit more. back there. Things, things, things happen in the process of getting some better, some better stuff. So we will, we will yeah, Joe, I, I said if people are watching the game at home and they get done and they want to come down, there's a movie at 730 and a hay yeah. ride and a bond. I can see a fire over there. Snacks and food and... And a soda garden. <laughs> and a soda. Oh, great ball game. Nobody up there. Gabe wearing his brother's number seven this year. Yeah. It's, uh, Vinny Stone, number seven. Gabe was four for all those years. He was. A Chino Roke had more seven last year. And there it goes. <laughs> you, you said the concession stand needs money. Is that what it was? Mm -hmm. Okay. Great hit right at the keeper's hands. Mike Richard with another shot. That's what his third, third I think. I think yeah. At least three. Okay, one, two, three. The next that one goes in. A, that was <laughs> a good hard hit right there. It was, yeah. That was struck well. We're still nil nil here with 11 minutes left in the oh, first. Oh, nice ball by Gabe Stone. Yeah, there goes. Right to Teddy, right to his feet. And he sees Mike Richard coming in. Oh, just a little slide there. Nice attempt there. Another, I, I said one, two, three, the next one goes in, but maybe that was one, two, three, four. <laughs> then I, they don't always listen to me. I don't know. Mr. Yeah. Schneider, you need to say something about we need a goal before half or something, and then they seem to listen to you. Ball up by Stone. Not going <sighs> to quite get to that one. Uh, he's just standing there in the middle of the field. It's awful hard to, you know, chase him down when you're not moving. So... <laughs> Boys really starting to play well. Ooh. Great job there by Bethany. Stone tries to race it and beat that ball, but doesn't quite get there. That's pretty fast. Mm -hmm. I might be a little partial. No, not at all. Auntie might be a little partial. <laughs> Annie Amy's always never partial. Eh, maybe. That was almost head-to-head -head contact uh, there, didn't yeah. it? Yeah, <laughs> that always scares me. In today's age, yeah, there's back when you know when when I've seen some games though. You know what? They they go down with the head injuries. They don't stop the game. I thought you were supposed to stop it. You're supposed to. Yeah, I'm, that's what I was told. Any any time a kid grabs their head, the the, the clock just stops. It right. doesn't matter where the ball is. Just play defeat, boys. Relax. Play defeat. Is your son playing basketball this year? I don't know. He's kind of been wishy-washy. He, he kind of told me, yeah, he might. And I went, oh. The Dragons look like they'll have Cameron Markley coming back into the game. And Sean Richard got that throw off quick, but. Not quick enough. And we're going to bring Mike Richard out for a break. Oh, yeah, it's just one of those things right there. You know, Cameron walks in to shake his hand. Mikey just pouts off the field. That's just, you know, you got to get past that. I know he's only a. He might be frustrated with himself. Yeah, it's junior, okay. Yeah. It's okay. It's a team effort. You can't do it all on yourself. Nope. He's always been a player, though, that's given 110%. Oh, and yeah. He plays hard. <laughs> when he was little, he was all over that field. And I always thought, oh, my goodness. <laughs> this kid's going to sleep good tonight. Big ball up to Gabe. Stones. Nice. Oh, going to be a corner. Yeah, nice. great job there. Well done, Gabe. He kind of just let him. Hmm, I'll let you tap it out. I, f I really feel like fall has come quickly this year. Oh, it just it went summer to, to yeah. fall. 
fast. Oh, nice job yeah. again by that keeper, smacking that ball out. Um, Sean Richard was <laughs> – he looked like he was back there trying to get a head ball on Nice. That. Good job, Karsten. Good ball right there to Sean. Oh. Guys are just a little bit late running onto them balls. Mm -hmm. Take off right when he's winding back. <laughs> if you're at home and you want to purchase a raffle ticket, you better get here soon. <laughs> Real quick. Yep, they are going to raffle off a 2019 uh, signed game ball by the team um, from the championship Class 1A uh, state champions. And they're... Tickets are a dollar. They're selling them for, and yeah, so you better get here soon because they'll be raffling it off before the end of the game, huh? Yeah, I think so. Uh, oh, yeah. Sean, another player that gives 110 percent. He and Mikey both. Yeah, he's Sean's only a freshman, and I, he's seen a lot of growth out of that young man. This he year. grew like COVID 19 <laughs> over well, over the I mean, quarantine. He, he, he grew like. Whew. I was talking more of his play oh, and his style. Oh, maturity. But in, in maturity uh, of the see. game, but also his height. He has grown. Um, shout out to Mrs. Carroll, Bronwyn Carroll, who's home watching the game. Hello, Mrs. Carroll. She wants to know who number 13 is. That's Caden Brady. Yes. You probably don't recognize him unless you see him as George Michael earring in. No, I <laughs> You got to have faith. Uh, there's a bunch of those George Michael earrings. I'm not uh, sure what's between the mullets and the George Michael earrings. I'm not sure which one's worse. Yeah. Caden's mom, um, ironically, cuts hair. She's a hairstylist. Yes. So <laughs> we, I think we should shave their heads when they sleep. But no, just teasing. Their hair looks wonderful. They're making a fashion statement. Yeah. If women can do it, they can too. That's right. See, got to let. Looks like the dragons. <laughs> the only thing I'm missing this year is I, I would take chicken and noodles right now. Oh, yeah. A little ma mashed taters. Our concession stand isn't able to do that <laughs> this year, but last year. Whew. Oh, a little poke up there by Connor Tracy. Yeah, sometimes you just got to stick it in and see. You never, know. you never know what happens. I've seen some funky bounces over mm. the keeper's head. And, and the Bruins playing it out of the backfield. AJ. You know, you know AJ may miss hit the ball, <laughs> but AJ he recovers like nobody's he does, business, man. And he always goes after that ball with 100 I would say 110%, maybe 120% uh, to get possession of that ball back. And we have a handball they said. Yeah. But that was uh you know, it's one thing about Mr. Mills is he makes a lot of mistakes sometimes. Everybody does, but that guy he, he recovers, man, yep. and he Makes up for his mistakes. And that's all you ever ask out of any player. Do your best, forget the rest. That's right. Well done, Connor. Nice head ball. Connor's mom always wants to wrap him in bubble wrap because he is like um, he, the he old Scooby Doo, danger prone Daphne. Yeah. <laughs> he goes. He goes to the wall. <laughs> Hundred miles an hour, and and yeah, and is not no, afraid to head that ball and, and no stick his fear. head yeah, exactly. And and I I think there's been a couple times she was afraid that he might get kicked in the head. Yeah, put some bubble wrap on that kid; he'll be fine. Oh, nice little athletic move there by Cameron Markley. Yeah, Bruins player had slipped, and he kind of snuck around. Oh, played a feet there, Carson. He did. <coughs> just wasn't. What Nargis was right. right. Yeah. <laughs> Good call, anyway. A little over three and a half minutes left here. Uh, score still tied, 0 0. Yep, he's off. Yep, good call. About a half a body. Yeah, we're having a little referee communication at the side. Mm -hmm. She K. Yes. Oh, okay, yep. I got you. So, so we had a foul by the Dragons uh, before the offsides, and he was waiting for advantage, and that takes precedence over the. Mm -hmm. set. 
and Markley reels that in easily. Like it's no big deal. Just a walk in the park. Yeah. <laughs> Ironically enough, he really didn't play keeper till his freshman year. They needed a keeper, and he's one of just one of those athletic kids. He can kind of play anywhere. And but he, I mean, he made some some incredible saves. Oh yeah. Throughout his career. Well, you know, and him only playing um, part of the season last year in goal because he had a broken bone in his hand. Right. And came out and ended up okay for tourney time. And, and yeah. yes, has made some great, <laughs> amazing <laughs> saves. That and Kurt Johnson's our other goalie, and he does a great job too. Mm -hmm. He's a junior this year, so we've got one more year of him. That's good. Looks like he might be warming up on the side. Maybe Coach Vanderbilt might um, have him in the goal second half. Don't know. That's not going to hurt you because you can put Colton out on the field, and he's got some serious wheels. Serious <laughs> wheels. <laughs> some serious speed. <laughs> Big kick out there by Connor, and Ted Redinger gets a foot on it. Devin Allen tries to get over there and just can't quite get there. We've had the two-minute warning for the half. Uh, not to speak after sectionals, but I know boys regionals are in Argus. Argus. Where are the girls regionals? Uh, LaVille. Still, uh, still at New Park. Park. Okay, yep. so. Every other year we switch and uh, girls sec next year the girls section will be here in Argus. Okay. But and the, but regionals always yeah. seems like it's in Newton Park. Okay. I thought so. And I know, you know, we've had semi-states up there. I guess it depends on who is in semi-state anymore with the class. Right, but now um, they switched all that, so... So my state's always in two locations only. Right. And it's either in Kokomo or in South Bend St. Joe. Okay. That's where the semi-states boys played in South Bend St. Joe I guess for us, it's, I guess South Bend St. Joe's a little closer for Right, us. but it all depends on who's the other team you're playing. Right, so that you don't have one team traveling super far right. and the other team. Okay, so. I got that. That makes sense. So you have a north and south. Yep. We don't know that. what the south does. Oh. Nice try there by Stone, and Bruins are able to get that out for a throw-in and save from the corner kick. Big throw, son. Are they announcing that at halftime? Half half oh, not at halftime. Are you going downstairs? Six, Did they make five, cookies today? Four, three, well done, Carson. Carson going to just get it out for the time clock to run out there. All right, so yeah, we're at halftime. I don't know, possession, what do you say, 50-50? Yeah, 50-50. I mean, neither team I'd looking the best right now. No. But, you know, let's, we'll see. You know, after the coaches make some adjustments at halftime, they'll do some yeah, talking. We'll see what we'll see what we can get done here. Yeah. Um, we're going to have a 10-minute halftime here. Phil's, Phil's trying to get a cookie. <laughs> Just what Phil needs. We're going to uh, bring some commercials to you. And uh, we will be back after the halftime. What rhymes with great? Participate. Where does greatness start? Here, in the classroom. On the diamond. In the pool. On the field. All right, zero, 0 at halftime. Um, we've been having a ball raffle tonight for a 2019 um, signed game ball from the um, Class 1A state champions, and we've got a winner for that. So we're waiting on them to bring the ball and come to the center field. We've got Lexi Vanderwill, Todd, Coach Todd's daughter. The winner of the 2019 signed game ball is Jenny Redinger. And the winner of that you game ball to the middle gate and claim your prize. is Jenny Redinger. That would be Ted Redinger's mom and Ted Redinger's wife. <laughs> Ted, Teddy, Teddy Redinger's mom, Ted Redinger's wife. So congratulations on your signed game ball. Devoted Dragon fan. Um, has a freshman daughter also that plays on the Lady Dragons team. And a classmate of Brandon's. There you go. So both teams still getting some instruction from their coaches. Oh, she won't go out. Poor out. Wouldn't post for our picture there. 
Maybe they can grab her later and get a picture. that cleaner in here, pipe freeze this winter. Well, we've got a new trainee on the camera for this half fill. We've got Luke uh, Schaefer, another one of our students. Yeah, yeah, we're good for two goals this half. Okay. Mr. Schneider has said that we will get two goals this half. We're going to see how that goes. <laughs> one to one. Well, one to one would be two goals this half. He didn't specify how it would be. Get 40 minutes back on the clock, and the Bruins are taking the field. Dragons also taking the field. see if the coaches have given them enough instruction to come out and get a goal in. Dragons did have a goalie switch. Uh, Kurt Johnson will be in the goal this half. Colton Markley has taken the left defender's position. Puts two seniors back there on the defensive line. Well, Phil's going to chat with me. Sorry about that. I, I was sitting here and looking for Joe, and I was like, oh. I don't know where Joe went. <laughs> he may have decided that he's done talking for today. Ooh, little ball over. Carson gets it over to Caden Brady, looks up the field. Tries to hit Ben Rangel. And the goalie snags it. That, can I see their lineup? Who's, who's in the goal? Okay. He may be the one that year we played. He was in junior high. He was a he was that big. He was a big kid in junior high. Cause I thought that goalie's in junior high. <laughs> he was a good keeper. Had an early growth spurt and then just yeah. kind of lost. I had forgotten about that. Not quite what Cameron Markley wanted to do there. I don't think. Maybe. Long ball up, and he will be offsides. Offside. Bethany trying to get something going there. He was just a step. Again, if you're looking for something to do after the game, over there at the uh, community park, uh, they're having an Oktoberfest. Uh, they're going to be having a move. What did you say? It was Hocus Pocus? Hocus Pocus starting at 730. We'll be able to see it reverse here. I can see the screen from here. And then uh, I, I could hear bands playing. There's music playing uh, earlier. Um, I know that there's a, 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 oh, what's hey. that thing? a hayride. <laughs> it's been going by in front of hayride, us. Hayride, yeah. <laughs> I was going to try and run over there at halftime, see if I could get, get a hayride and a snack, but I didn't quite make it. And I did. I thought I saw a fire. I don't know if that yes. was a bonfire. There's a bonfire over there. There's a bonfire. They've got but uh, welcome to fall. Craft vendors and food vendors over there. And, um, they also have a what'd you call it? A soda garden. A soda garden. Yes. Check it out. I don't know if that's on our website or Facebook page somewhere. Check Argus Parks Facebook page probably. From what I or just come down and check it out. Yeah, just come down and check it out. Facebook, I guess, has been just blowing it up uh, about it. So, and it looks like you know the field across the way. It's a pretty good sized field, and it's full of cars. Full. <laughs> Doing a good job. 
Easy snag there for Johnson. Kurt checking the field out. He's going to give a big punt. Ted Redinger going to get a body on that. Mikey Richards gets it over Cameron Markle. He's going to put it back up and in. Ben Rangel gets ahead on it, and the Bruins will be able to clear that out. Got some good senior junior leadership out there. All right, Ted Redinger. Going to switch the field over there. Bruins are going to break that up. <laughs> Good little roll there by Rangel. Yeah, Bruins are controlling the ball. And a big kick out of the Bruins. A little too far, little too oh, far there. Oh. Kurt Johnson's going to be able to grab that one. Playing the long ball. Um, sometimes that works. Gabe Stone quickly taking the ball up the side. Both teams have had several shots on goal. They just have not been able to finish. Mm -mm. Yeah, and Gabe was trying to get a cross back. I'm sure that wasn't the cross that he wanted. Um, no, it didn't look like it was going to be no, an easy there was cross a lot either. No, <laughs> there was a lot of defense going on with that. <laughs> um, big kick out there by the keeper. Colt Markley is going to turn that ball and get it up the field for a Bethany throw in. Ooh, baseball. Oh, that's, sh I'm oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. kind of thought they should have called the foul at the beginning <laughs> of that. They should have called it, yeah. Yeah. That one there is a full arm extension. 13 had a full arm extension there. I'm sure, not sure why that wasn't. He was kind of letting them go out of Gabe probably too. Oh, he had. Did you switch it back? Uh-oh. And we've lost our feed. Let's see what we can do here. Phil's going to. Check that transmitter. Oh, big head ball out. We're back. Okay. Sorry about that. Not sure. Shot in, and Kurt Johnson's going to grab that one. And Cam Markley pushing the ball up. Ted Regner getting the ball. Oh, almost Carson McCraver kind of tapped his foot and unfortunately went out of bounds. Sorry about that. We are working with some new equipment this year. We uh, First time we have uh, wireless equipment from our camera to the computer. and uh, Sometimes it doesn't want to talk to. You have to make sure that the, that the antennas are pointing at each other. And then sometimes still they just... <laughs> Okay, we've got about eight minutes out of this half, still 0-0. Zero, zero. Both teams trying to get a little fire in. We've got Bethany with four subs coming into the game. No, and here comes the hayride again. You can see it in the camera. <laughs> see, <laughs> if you need something to do, we got a little hayride. Going to have a Bethany throw in and four subs coming in. Yeah, 
All right, Bethany getting some fresh legs in there. We'll see how that works out for him. Colton Markley going to push that ball up the field to Ben Rangel. He's going to get it too too far up. Head ball back, though, to Redinger. And foul then on Redinger. Yes, uh, Redinger playing on a yellow card. Uh, one more yellow card that would actually put him out this game and the next game. Oh, that will not. If that happens, that will yes, not. Yes, and we would be one down this game. We'd be down to 10 men. That won't make Coach Todd happy at all. Uh -uh. Yeah, nice chip in. Caden Brady gets ahead on it. Colton Markley gives chase. I'd like to see Colton just take it. His legs are fresh. I mean, he didn't run last half, so. Ted and Mike have played together a long time. They usually can read each other pretty well there. Gabe Stone with the ball. Going to jump around. Bethany gets ahead on it. Colton Markley with a little tap on it and just a little high. We've got Tomas Gutierrez, our foreign exchange student from Spain, coming into the game for the Dragons. Going to give Ben Rangel a break. Yes, Toma, yeah. Yes, they are. <laughs> Both players jumping. Neither are quite tall enough to. Caden Brady. going to come out on that. And Oh, unfortunately there, Caden Brady get feet getting tangled up. He loses, and he gives up a corner for the Dragons. Bethany setting up for their corner. By chance, do you happen to know where everybody's at in the conference? This conference? Yes. The NISC, we won the NISC. So, I mean, really, this game, I don't want to say it doesn't matter, but because Bethany had already lost twice, is what okay. I was told, and uh, we beat the Academy. So, okay, we're going to have a little trip there. Mike Richards says, I had advantage. I was moving forward. Why did you call I thought that? It was, I thought it was a shot to the face. Ah. <laughs> uh, so, we'll have a dragon free kick out there. Looks like Devin Allen's coming out to take that. And we'll see if one of the Dragons can put this ball in. We've got about 28 minutes left in this half. Chip in. Oh, nice idea. I see what he was thinking. That Dragon's running through for that, and the keeper snags it. Ball will go out. It's going to be a dragon throw in. Oh, a little miss hit there by Allen. And Mike Richards comes up with the ball. We're going to have a Dragon throw in. Cameron Markley getting a foot on. He's going to give it out to Carson McCramer. Carson McCramer coming from the back line and just a little bit too much. What do we call that? Mustard on there? Mustard. Yeah, too much pepper. Mustard. And Blair distributed the 
fucking bending force to your chair and yet you know. Technically I'm about to get a fifteen going on with Josh on one and Anthony Woodbury is gonna replace me with Joseph Gonzalez. Got some Bethany subs back in the game there. And we'll have a Bethany goal kick. And it looks like yep, and I'll take two if it's small. Oh yeah, I'm, I'm sorry, that's big ball. And Hoffman water kick. There you go. And you're watching Argus TV on RTC four dot com. Or maybe channel four. <laughs> We're also on uh, what is it? Uh IHSAA dot TV dot org. Yeah. And but the, uh, you can go to rtc4.com and click on the Argus TV button and find us there as well. There's also games archived there um, for a long time. Heck, actually, yes, you can go yeah. back a lot, quite a bit there. Um, click around. You'll see what you can find. There's basketball, soccer, probably some lacrosse. There's whatever they've recorded is on there somewhere. And if you want to go back way back, um, I think we also have still games on YouTube. <laughs> oh, jeez. Back, back before we uh, – Got all the updated equipment and things like that. Yeah. Oh, big oh, shot by Ted Redinger! Oh, big shot by Redinger. We're going to get an instant replay on that one. Big left footed shot up and over the keeper, upper 90. It's going to put our score at 1 0 with 25 and a half minutes left in this game. They can't let their guard down, though, even though they got that one shot. Bethany still has had a lot of shots on goal, so. Bethany's ready to go, but the referee is not quite ready yet. Getting everything written down, taking care of his yeah. paperwork. And we've got a sub. Sub coming in for the Bruins. <laughs> oh, faked him out. Uh, now they got to call him back. Do it again. Was that, was, that, was that called a fake kick? I think it was. Now we're ready to go. Good step there by McCramer. And here we go. We go to the top. Go in Oh, Dragons crossed the line, so they got to kick again. Oh, my goodness, just over. Almost. He was out a little bit, and I've seen my daughter make some of those. You know, you get that keeper out a little bit, just over the head, but ended up okay, went over the goal, and we'll have a Dragon goal kick. Thought Mr. Snyder was going to get his two goals right away. <laughs> yeah. Bam, bam, and we, yeah, got some action here in the second half. We are 15 minutes into the second half. We're going to have a Bruin foul on the back of Tomas Gutierrez. We'll have a dragon free kick. What about, what, 40 yards? A little chip in there by Brady. Headed out easily by the Bruins. McCramer's going to tap it back in. Markley over to Stone. Whoa. It's going to have a uh, Bruin foul there. A little ankle breaker. Big free kick by Devin Allen here. A little chip in. Uh, Tomas and Mike Richard trying to get a foot on that or a body part on that, and the goalkeeper snags it up easily. Looked like Allen was waiting for the referee to say it's okay to go, and the referee's waiting for Allen <laughs> to kick the ball. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, a little miscommunication there. Uh, oh, jeez, oh, oh, yeah, yeah, that's going to be a foul. Whoa. And Fortunately, uh, Colton bounces because as a mom, I'm going, oh, my gosh. <laughs> Colton jumps up for the head ball, and, yeah, and that was a yellow card. Now, if, if – uh, if he'd have spun around like he did and landed on his feet, I would have stood and cheered. Oh, that yeah. would have been that would have been the best play. I mean, 
Still would have been a foul, but yeah, uh, would have really looked cool. Whew, goodness gracious, that was <laughs> sorry. The mom and me was yeah, gasping, <laughs> and he he bounced. He's fine. We should have instant replayed that. <laughs> Just <laughs> I think we can. You think we we're can? gonna try it? It's probably too late. No, nope, too late. Oh, okay. Right. Yeah, it was Darn it. We were, we, were, we were too late. He was already. Just only because he, he rolled and he hopped right back up. It looked like one of those, you know, when uh, when actual football, American yeah. football oh, is yeah. going, and they go to jump over the, the oh, yeah. group of people, and they get hit in a helicopter going in. And they're wearing pads. Yeah. And Colton has no pads that, on. That's what it looked like. <laughs> Snagged there by the Dragons. Gabe Stone taking it up the side. Little chip in. Tomas tries to get a foot on it. It's going to go over the goal and out of bounds. And we've got some subs coming in. We've got Caden Knife on coming in for the Dragons. Looks like a – we'll let Brandon announce who's coming in for the Bruins. <laughs> Caden Nifong. He's got the monoculars. It's too hard to see across the field. <laughs> Ooh, broken ankles. <laughs> Broke his ankles. It's like Sean Richards waiting to come in for the Dragons. And we've got a dragon foul. He's letting foul. him play on? Oh, no. Nope. Got okay. a dragon foul. I thought he had both hands up there for a second. You know, and it, it's it's uh, and I'm trying not to jinx this, but um, don't jinx this, Phil. You know, there for the longest, and it hadn't happened for quite a few years now. But there for the longest time, it seemed like every game we were coming out in the ambulance to pick up somebody that had a broken leg. Oh, geez, yeah. The ambulance used to come when I was little. They were always at the games. Of course, we didn't have internet back then, so people didn't have anything else to do. Nice little tap there. A little too far, I think. I thought he was going to bend over and pick it up. <laughs> yeah, he did. He yes, you can pick it up outside the box, but it's a handball, and then we get a free kick. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's a handball, but yeah. I know what you're getting. <laughs> uh, so Mike Richard will be coming in for the Dragons and Anthony Moser in for the Bruins. Looks like Colton Markley will be taking a break. Little tap over there by and Caden Knife on giving a fight over the ball. Little fight ball going out of bounds. Little ball boy caught that. Dragon throw in. <laughs> Good little ball boy over there. Probably one of our junior high players. They're usually ball ball people. A little under 20 minutes left, about halfway through the second half. Dragons lead, 1-0. Gabe Stone coming up, getting a little steal on that ball. Oh, trying to get it to the head of Teddy Wagner. And a little chip. Oh, oh my gosh. Ball. And nobody there to, to. Chip in there by Tomas Gutierrez, and it went off the post. So close, so There was close. nobody there on the bounce back to, uh, yeah. to chip it back in there again. Devin Allen getting that ball away from him. Tapping it over. Gabe Stone back to Allen. Back to Stone. He's on sides. Caden Brady's going to cut him off. And Kurt Johnson will snag that. Bethany also then, I mean, they, they had the same thing. Same there. thing. One nice cross. That was a great. Actually, he put it back um, past the six. He put it, and it would have been perfect. <laughs> Nobody but no there one was following him. him. So, oh, Teddy Ragnar slipped there. Tomas uh, headed the ball back and 
you can tell we've got a little bit of rain now um, because the, the number one the field's getting really yeah. slick they've, they've been slipping a lot yeah and you're starting to see the wear mark right on the crown uh, the right there in the middle Thursday's game there were two games here Thursday night and it had rained and it was awful yeah I'm sure that had a little effect on the field and you can see that the goal boxes are starting to do what normal goal uh -huh. boxes do yeah ball in by stone little tap over there by McCramer Kane Nifong is going to chip it in and snagged by the keeper it's like Jake Stoltz waiting to come in for the Dragons couple other players coming in for the Bruins. We'll let Brandon use the binoculars. And, and we'll have them coming in now. Must been an injury timeout. Jake Stoltz came. Oh, and Colton. And Colton Markley. Yeah, Jake Stoltz and Colton, Mar Colton Markley. I just kind of let you announce those, Brandon. <laughs> <laughs> I can't see their numbers, and I don't have a lineup in front of me. Ball headed out by Mills over to Stoltz. He's going to turn it up. And the referee stops it. <laughs> we'll have to work on see if we can get a third headset. Yeah. Cameron Markley waiting to come in for the Dragons. Yeah, we've got another little port there. We'd need a third. Devin Allen, Tomas tried to get a foot on that, and it just didn't make it. And we'll give Mike Richard a break. Get that. Ooh, sticky ball. <laughs> hey, sticky ball. Uh, Mike Richard. Or Sean Richard. Sorry, Sean, I always do that. Oh, an un... Oh, no, he's... Foul called on the Dragons. Well, 50 cent hot dogs and popcorn while they last, Phil. Get in your vehicles and... And come while they last. <laughs> Pick them up. <laughs> I don't know. Those go pretty fast. They go pretty fast. I want to know where the 50 cent hot chocolate is. And for football. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. We are playing football, aren't we? We are watching football. football. We're watching football. All right. There's the, there's the cross. And nice cross. Cameron or Colton Markley trying to get a foot in there. Devin Allen gets a little slide in there, gets just enough on the ball to push it up the field, which that's the end we'd like to see it on. Like to see him play in the field a little more. Gabe Stone waiting over on the sidelines to come in. Kurt Johnson's going to hold the ball. Going to hold it and let him let run some clock off there. Got about 14 and a half minutes left. He can do that. He cannot hold the ball, but if the ball is on the ground, he can he can sit there for. Colton Markley getting a foot on that one. Tomas. Nope. 
I didn't find out how old our foreign exchange students were. They're freshmen, basically. Yeah. Okay. Last year, I know that Pablo was only 15, and he—I mean, we always consider them seniors when they come, but quite a. Uh, yeah, in their country, yeah. It's kind of amazing to me that they come here, and I mean, you're coming to a new country, and <laughs> the maturity that you'd have to have to do that. Looks like Ben Rangel and Gabe Stone back into the game for the Dragons. And a couple for Bethany. I did not hear who they were. Brandon might share that with me. Who was that for Bethany? Joey Mojica, Joey Mojica and, Asher and Asher Bontrager. Thank you. Kind of a back and forth here. I mean, the Dragons got their 1-0 lead. Still fighting hard, both teams. Still, though, have plenty of time. There's 12 and a half minutes left. Uh, Dragons the other night were able to put a ball in with, I think, less than four uh, against CMA and clinch the NISC championship. Sean Richard with the ball. Trying to get it back. Argus throw in over Stone over to Allen, back to Stone. It's going to cross fields over to Caden Iphone. Where's that coming from? The park. Oh, the park? Oh, got a little music <laughs> from our friend. Oh, and Sean Richard with the head. We're gonna instant replay that See just because. Yeah, sure. I know we weren't looking at it. We were listening out. We're looking out. We were looking the at the park. <laughs> I was watching it out of the corner of my eye. But we've got some music going on at the park. Big cross right there over. There it is. Mike Richard gets ahead on it, and the keeper just snags it. Good job by the keeper. Thought we'd do something. <laughs> as Joe was saying, you know, Sean's a. He's come a long way this year as a player. You're. I don't know how that hole with the new one. Argus had a foul. Yeah. <coughs> and a Bethany free kick. Stone now back on defense. He's going to push the ball up. Not quite to the feet of a Dragon player, but back over to Brady. Jake Stoltz takes one for the team. Was that on the shoulder or was that inside of the head? I No, it was, I think, a body part. I don't think it was his head. And the ball manages to stay in. Ben Rangel is able to chip it up in there into the box. Devin Allen, oh, almost got to it. Cameron Markley, he likes those long shots. Not going to quite get in the goal there. And we're going to have a couple subs. Ted Redinger and Mike Richard coming back in for the Dragons. Yeah. 
AJ Mills Bethany's putting up on a the run fight. And Ooh, off to the side. Just outside. Yikes. That could have been a goal. And, you know, it's eight twenty one and one one nil. A little over eight minutes left in the game. Dragons still up one nil. Bethany coming on the offensive again. Caden Bray gonna break that up. Cameron Markley going after that ball. He wasn't going to stop till he got it. And looks like we've got Carsden McCramer waiting to come back into the game for the Dragons. And Jake Stoltz is going to take a break. Dragon throw in. Was it me or does it look like uh, Richards was kind of limping over there? He might be. He's had some knee problems before. Um, and he tends to play through any tweaks. <laughs> Caden Brady's going to get a foot on. He does a good job there of just tapping it over to the park. Oh, no, it stopped Not at quite. the fence. Yep. <laughs> Lots of head balls tonight. Okay, well, the Bruins throw in. That, oh. oh yeah. He he did, but you can't tell me he. <laughs> I thought he flopped a little bit. He played it up. He played it up. <laughs> yeah. Was it was it Mikey? Yeah. Mike is a very physical player. He always plays with. I think he plays with his arms. Yeah. He plays basketball the same. You know. Yep. And he's always. In case we'll have a Bethany free kick. Referee's going to give yardage. Asking for distance there. <laughs> Brady gets ahead on it. Colton Markley is going to get a foul. It was a foul on the Bruins. No call? Okay. He oh, had his oh, hand okay. up. Right. Colton Markley was taken out uh, by a Bruins player. Oh, I think they're going to try he anything. He had his hand up like it was going to be a foul. Well, we had the ball, though. I think he was just playing that. Okay, that's going to be a foul. Oh. Ooh. Oh. I'm not sure what that was, but okay. And I, yeah. Okay, the ball quickly played up by the Bruins, and say, Ted's got to let that one go. Teddy's got to let it go. He, yeah. <laughs> we usually count on Brandon here. Brandon said, "Wow," so we'll just <laughs> we'll just move on. And AJ Mills is going to push that ball up. Head ball there by <laughs> too high. <laughs> That's Cameron's second or third shot like that. One of these he's going to drop low enough and he's going to sink it in there. Mm -hmm. A little over four minutes left in this game. Dragon lead, 1-0. Got a Bethany goal kick. Pushed up the field. A little tilt oh. action there. Pinball. Head ball right into the other player's head. <laughs> yeah, pinball. <laughs> ding, ding. Ted Redinger out with the ball. 
43. It's good. It's going to get wild and wacky. Tap it over, cars, and McCramer with a just shot a little just wide. a little bit wide. Just a bit outside. Just a bit outside. From one of my favorite movies. Yeah, it's going to get wild. Major and League. <laughs> Ball four. Ball eight. 346 to go. <laughs> I don't know how they can lay off pitches that close. <laughs> oh. Sorry, I love a good movie. Ooh, another uh, head ball off the head ball. <laughs> oh, high kick. Ooh, I guess. Okay, no call. Okay. Connor just going in for the attack. Mike, Mike over to Ted. Wide. He's going to get it crossed and cross not quite there. A little too far from Markley. Markley's going to get the ball. Tap it back over to Mark Kramer. Chip it back in. Chip it in. A little fake action there. Oh, good. Oh. <laughs> Not bad, little foot flick there by Rangel. A little wide. Two forty-eight to go. <laughs> Don't leave. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Mr. Snyder said last year he left and they tied up the ball game, so he's gonna stay. He said he left and it was one zero. Got to the parking lot and they tied it up. We're not gonna let him leave. <laughs> Hey, timekeeper, how much time's left in the game? There's two minutes remaining. Two minutes. <laughs> Why didn't you say something? That's awesome. AJ Mills gets a body on that one. He's giving chase. Cameron Markley over there, a little tuffle for the ball, tussle. Keeper snags it up. He's going to push it back up, I'm sure. As quick as he can. Kind of a. Joe was right earlier. That keeper does play with that line on that foot. Mm hmm. She's watching though. She's usually. I think I have a headache from all the head balls tonight. And it's going to be over. The ball boy, ball boy is running across the field. <laughs> Extra player on the field. Okay, a little under a minute left here. Caden Brady with a big kick out. Bruins pushing the ball up. Last 30 seconds. Gabe Stone gets ahead on it, gets it back on the other side of the line, where we like it. Ten seconds. All right, so the Dragons clinch this one, 1-0. One they go to 12-3-1. and one. They'll be back in action Monday night here at Eugene Snyder Field at 6 o'clock against North Miami for the first game of sectional action. We will be here to bring you that action. Tuesday night we'll be at Newton Park for the Dragons-Culver Cavaliers game, lady, the ladies. And back here Wednesday, back up there Thursday, bang, 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 back forth, yep. Back bringing you right. sectional action. I can't even tell you how excited Phil and I are. It's, it's not as bad as what it was last year. <laughs> yeah, well, you know what? We get to go up there. We get to have a little, you know, both both teams. I'm excited, actually. Last year so. we broadcasted every game, whether it was Argus or not. Yeah, and it, it is different it to broadcast a game that it's not your team because you don't know either team. Yep. So. And it was a long week. <laughs> so for Phil Dean and Amy Stone and Jacob Stone and Luke Schaefer, this has been Argus TV on RTC4.com. Have a great night.